Hi, I will quickly show you how to use my Ray Clone preset of 3-tap asphalt shingles. So let's merge 3-tap uh, shingles RC max. All OK. Uh, here you have all the necessary objects. They are divided into three la layers. Uh, here's the layer with Raycon objects for ridges and shingles. Uh, elements are uh, objects that Raycon uses for distribution. They are not renderable, so you can leave, leave them uh, visible and they won't render. And we have uh, splines. We have three splines. One is for ridges, one is for shingles, and the third one is for clipping off the ends of ridges. So everything that is outside of the spline is being cut off. And that's the only function of the spline, to cut off uh, the corners of the last shingles. Okay, let's make, uh, let's put some shingles on this roof we have. First, let's draw a spline for shingles. Now the direction in which you draw uh, those splines matters to Raycon because it can either face uh, put the shingles facing upwards or downwards. Corner. So I draw it uh, counterclockwise. Okay, select spline shingles, attach, and we have shingles. Okay, but let me show you if I uh, select this spline and reverse it, the shingles are facing downwards. Okay, let's do the ridges now. I will just hide the ray clone object. Uh, spline. For ridges, you have to. You should start from the bottom and go upwards. For the top ridge, it doesn't really matter that much. Spline ridges, select. I will just hide the shingles so I don't attach the shingles. Okay, now we don't see the uh, ridges because we have to adjust the clipping spline. So let's just uh, move it over here. Okay, we have we have the ridge, the ridges. Mm, now we have to adjust uh, their bend angle. Okay, so here are twelve predefined ridge cap models. 
on each of them you have a bend modifier where you can adjust the angle and uh, all you have to do now is match the angle of the ridges with the pitch of the roof more or less it's better to unhide the, the shingles so it doesn't intersect with each other sorry um, but for the for this side we will have to use different reach cap elements so right now we are using uh, only the first reach cap 01 on all the all the ridges but we want to use a different one different element here so you change that by changing the spline ID so when you put spline ID 2 we are using the second reach cap 0 2 3 third or fourth and so on so just we will pick one that matches more or less the angle um, here we can here we have to use uh, because there's a different pitch on this side and on this side we have to rotate this hip so you select um, the Raycon object here in parameters you can, you can, you can see you have uh, hip rotations we are using the sixth reach cap so we have a hip six rotation and we are just matching the roof okay we have this side now on this side we, we will have to use the same band angle but opposite rotation so select spline ridges select this spline change its ID to the seventh um, but we want to use the seventh has a different band angle so we, we want to use the same band angles as on this side so you will just select the reach cap 7 Uh, sorry, 6, which cap 6, copy the angle value, select the 7, and paste the band angle. And right now we have to select the ray clone, hip 6 rotation, copy it, and paste with a minus value. And now we have the opposite rotation and it looks it looks okay okay so now the last thing we have to fix is this um, rich. the start of the per the first shingle we want to use the, we want to use this shingle which has a cut cut out corners cut off corners and you do that by changing the vertex from corner to bezier or bezier corner okay now it's better We can use the we can use the normal uh, shingle for this corner.
Okay, so I think that's all folks. Thank you for watching.